Alrighty, so today what we're going to do is a little bit of an experiment. I know in previous videos, what I've done is can a 99 overall team go 162 and 0? If you guys missed that, I'll put that in the top right hand corner. I've also done a challenge where I went 0 and 162 and tried to go 162 and 0. So I know there's been some videos where we try to create a super team, but today what I did was I took every single player of every single team and I made them at 99 overall. Every pitcher, every starting pitcher, reliever, closer, whatever you wanna say it, every single shortstop, second baseman, and so on and so forth. So every player is 99 overall, and I kinda just wanna see how this plays out. Is there gonna be a player that hits like 100 home runs? Is there gonna be a pitcher that dominates the league, has a really low ERA, strikes out a bunch of players? what is going to happen so it's a little bit of an experiment and i've just been kind of trying to think of new and different videos for you guys to see rather than just the normal rebuild so i'm thinking of keeping it down to just one season maybe two seasons but what we're going to do is we're just going to simulate and we're going to see what happens when every single player is a 99 overall if you guys want to see one where every single player is a one overall the lowest possible rating in mlb the show let me know in the comment section down below hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video that's the easiest way for me to know that you're enjoying the videos subscribe if you are new and enjoy the uh video yeah subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content also make sure you hit that bell notification icon so that you guys are notified whenever a video does go live other than that go in the comment section let me know future videos you would like to see and i think that's it guys all my social media links are down below in the description twitter instagram all that stuff you guys can go and follow it tweet me if you guys have any questions or anything like that send me a dm things like that i think that's it Let's hop into the video. I'm kind of interested to see how this 99 overall MLB is going to play out. It's going to be kind of interesting. So let me show you the lineups. Alrighty. So what I'm going to show you guys is every single team has 99 overall across the board. Like every single team, you guys can see the pitching, starting rotation, and the bullpen. All 99 overalls. I kind of quickly go through it. The only thing that I didn't make 99 overall was the bench. And the thing is, every team's bench averages out to about a mid-70. There's no players that really stand out compared to other teams. There's no team that has like a really bad bench. Just the bench wasn't adjusted too much because I was more focused on the actual starting lineup. As you guys can see with the teams. Most players will sit in the mid 70s. You'll have some 60s. You'll have some low 80s for the bench. But every single lineup, like starting outfield player, has 99 overall. Um, some have a little bit more power than others, but it all kind of equals out. Some some teams have one or two players that have low power. No, like no team is like super like overrated compared to another team. So every team it kind of averages out. And it's all 99 overall. And I'm kind of excited to see what happens. Is pitching going to dominate? Is hitting going to dominate? How many home runs are we going to see from one player? Is there going to be like someone with a crazy low ERA? I'm really just interested to see how this kind of experiment plays out. So you guys can see every single team, 99 overall, pitching staff, starting lineup, everything like that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to sim a season, see what happens, go through the attributes, the statistics, or I guess the statistics, not so much the attributes. We'll see who wins the World Series. We'll kind of see who wins MVP, what their stats were like, Cy Young, what their stats were like. And I kind of want to know what you guys think. Is it going to be a pitcher heavy, like a pitcher dominated league? Is it going to be a hitter dominated league? What do you think it's going to be? Let me know in the comment section down below. I think we're going to see someone hit close to like 70 home runs. Maybe a pitcher has like a low two ERA. I really don't know. It's kind of exciting to see what's going to happen. And if you guys want to see every single player have a one or like the lowest overall possible which is a one overall let me know in the comment section down below hit that like button that's the easiest way for me to know that you guys enjoy these types of videos other than that guys let's just see how this plays out i'm kind of excited all right so as we approach the end of the season you guys can kind of see the teams are pretty similar that we're playing there isn't like a team that stands out with like a crazy good record or a crazy bad record most of the teams are kind of, you know, pretty close together. So I wonder if that's what's going to happen because a lot of the players are so closely rated. Everyone's so highly rated that there's not going to be too like a team that stands out from the rest. So I wonder what's going to happen. Made the postseason as a wild card team, but I'm not really interested in that. I'm kind of excited to see the league leaders and things like that. So the Reds actually 
had a pretty good year 98 wins we'll take a look at the rest was there anybody else the orioles with 96 wins okay 99 for the indians so but when you look at the rest of the teams you guys can kind of see that everyone was pretty close kind of sitting in that mid 80s range you know and then obviously there were the, the lower ones who were like in the high 70s but um not a lot of teams you know really broke away um i guess the reds kind of did when you look at it and i guess the more you look at it i guess there were some teams that kind of fell um but like this is a, a group that's pretty close together this is a group that's pretty close together here this is pretty close right here so i mean for the most part it was pretty close obviously there's going to be some outliers but nothing too crazy yasio puig had the most i don't know if it's the most home runs but he was the mvp this year for the national league for the american league it was michael chavis with 56 home runs and a 1072 ops so looking at cy young matt harvey with a 533 era was the cy young and a 147 whip really let's see who won it for the national league it was clayton kershaw that's a little bit more respectable you know a 361 era 1.15 whip but okay uh batting title for puig ryan mcbroon got it for Br mcbroom for the yankees when we look at reliever of the year there wasn't anybody for the american league okay and took it to got it for the national league with 47 saves an era of 1.28 and a 0.93 whip all right uh rookie of the year was chavis and dylan carson okay okay let's look at league leaders see how things went so the batting average was Yasiel Puig and then when you look at the American League it was Ryan McBroom Michael Chavis right behind him hits was Michael Chavis Orlando Arcia with 200 plus each when we look at at bats not really worried about doubles 60 for Tatis Jr and 64 for the American League leader triples was 18 and 17 home runs 52 and then let's see what the American League was 59 okay uh, RBIs 143 and 139 runs 137 153 okay so there's kind of a 62 so there's a little bit of a disparity between American League and National League 45 compared to 62 we got some walks there on base percentage 400 for the American League slugging percentage is pretty high OPS couple a lot in the thousands for the American League wins we got 19 for Harvey 18 for Soroka losses mike minor only had one loss but he only had two wins so i guess that kind of evens out uh saves we had 52 and 46 but took it tucson was the reliever of the year hmm okay era 371 and 310 okay so no one under three no one under three and in the american league it was a lot higher than the national league home runs allowed okay shutouts three and three so there were some pitchers that were still able to get some shutouts strikeout numbers complete games five four okay so i mean overall not terrible there were some pretty interesting stats there so let's see how the season plays out and uh who wins the world series the braves defeat the angels so that's like for once not the dodgers or the yankees and then when you see Austin Riley was the World Series MVP with four home runs, 10 RBIs, and a 360 average. And the postseason MVP, same person, Austin Riley. So it's kind of interesting to see how this all played out. Um, I'm pretty, it was pretty interesting. Mike Trout, seven home runs. Let's see his stat line for the year. I mean, it was pretty impressive. And I'm kind of, it was just kind of cool just to kind of test it out, see how this played. Like I said, guys, if you guys want to see it where every single player is one, overall which is the lowest you can get at mlb the show let me know in the comment section down below make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content like i said it was just kind of cool to kind of test it out i was wondering if there would be like this one player that just broke out from the rest maybe hit like 70 or 80 home runs maybe with this, this pitcher that just dominated everybody it was just kind of an experiment and a test to see how it played out so with 99 overalls for every single player that's basically how it turned out really no pitcher dominated the league it was mostly all about the hitters and they really you know a lot of high ops a lot of slugging and stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content i'll catch you all in the next video peace